Hey, what's up? It's Corey B. We're here at the Bang Cookies headquarters, if you couldn't tell, okay? We're going to try something new today. We're going to do a podcast. Everyone's got a podcast. It's our turn. And I'm going to introduce you to our founder, the guy that started it all. His name, George. Hi, everybody. My name is George. <laughs> I'm the founder of Bang Cookies. George is great at cookies. He's not good at talking, but he's a, he's a good guy. He's good to look at, too. He's got that white tight T-shirt on. Yeah, it's baby size, man. Yeah, we know. Baby yeah. gap. Those oh, muscles yeah. are... Ju- what did you do? You got cookies in them things, Bro, dude? they're balloons, man. Golly. We're going to try something <laughs> new today, too. We're actually, as we're doing a podcast, we're going to do a, a cookie taste test with our chief marketing officer. Brand new. Out what's the up? box. What's up, guys? Out the box. Anchor. How do you say your last name? Garg. Garg. You can Is Google it Anchor or Anchor? Anchor. 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 I go, I go I with got, the... Uh, I got accent. Okay. Yeah. I go with the Jay-Z lyrics, you know, can I get an encore? Do you want more? Encore. Oh, encore. Oh, I, we're okay. all wrong. Encore, yeah, yeah, anchor. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. far Aren't off. Aren't you from man. New York? You should know this. Come on, man. I'm I was I'm transplant. Fair enough. I'm from Florida. I don't know much of anything. Floridian. Look at that. I mean, the ink is still fresh on the contract, but I think it's time I try some cookies. You try yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's why you that's why you're here right now. Look at these things. What do you first so, of all, first of all, first look, what are you what are you thinking? I mean, these are big. Giant. I, uh, yeah. I'm not used to seeing cookies at this size. You know why? <laughs> you know why? Because we're used to girls telling us the opposite. So we found out, you know, to make cookies bigger so we can have someone be like, wow, that's huge. All right. Well, George, let me ask you this. Which cookie should I start with? You should definitely start with the big black cookie. The big black cookie. I see yes. t- I see four black cookies. The double what chocolate chip? The double chocolate. <laughs> are these different? The triple chocolate. Are we doing triple chocolate or double chocolate? What is it now? Uh, no, it's triple chocolate. That's the name of the Triple cookie. chocolate. Triple chocolate. So I would start with... That the one in the middle. cookie in the middle, yeah. Okay, that's All not right. the triple chocolate though. What's, this is the uh, this is the cookies and cream. Cookies and cream. Break that. In oh, half. I do like Oreos. Yeah. Man. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, while I'm figuring out how to crack this thing open, why don't you tell us why the company's named Bang Cookies? Well, we started the company with the actual name of Bang Me Bakery. So back when we first started, we didn't have much funds. Yo, there's cream in the middle. Hell yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. Uh-huh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they're big and they got cream in the middle, dude. Yeah, Enjoy your time, your mouth, man. man. <laughs> that's delicious. Yeah, that's what, yeah. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. It's a bang me bakery. Yeah. That's how it started. Did it start with cookies or was it like muffins and croissants? No, we straight up cookies. And we didn't have much of a budget in the very beginning. And we started making the cookies in our kitchen. So in order to get people to try the product, we went to the farmer's market and we were like, you know what? We need to make a name that draws people in without much effort. And we tried, we just said, all right, well, bang me bakery. Well, let's start with that Kay. because people are going to like look at the name yeah. and they're like, what the hell is that? And that's exactly what happened to the farmer's market. Uh, the first time we went to the farmer's market, we sold out within the first hour. And we have roughly had about like 500 cookies with us. Bang me. Did I think you were soliciting sex and selling cookies or what, what was like? Well, we try to do what we, whatever we can. Yeah, I mean, you got to pay bills. Bills are bills. I mean, you, you I know, right? You got that tight white shirt, so you never know. You know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? You I got to do what it takes, man, to survive, bro. Whatever it takes. I understand. You know? I don't judge people for what they do for a living. No. Hell no, you, know. you yeah. can't. Ever. Can't. Yeah, right. living's so, a living, dude. You yeah. Know what, you know what I like about this? It doesn't taste too sweet. Nah. Mm-hmm. I've gone to these other cookie stores and stuff, and, like, the sugar is just outrageous. Yeah. We have, we actually made the cookie so that it's not as much sugar compared to a traditional one with the same amount of servings. Yeah, not only that, you could feed a whole family with that one. That one cookie you just put down, you could feed a whole family with that thing. Yeah. Like, people get these cookies like, what, do I have to eat it all at once? No, obviously not. You could save it for later. That's why we got that, that nice packaging we package it in. You Wait know what I mean? There's no way you're eating these cookies with that muscular physique. Bro, I have oh, to. he put so... You should see this guy put cookies <laughs> down. Stop it. This guy's putting cookies back like no one's business. Every time I come to this damn warehouse, I leave in, in pain. And he walks out jolly like Santa Claus on Christmas, man. It doesn't make any sense. Look at him. How many calories do you burn in a day? It's about, you know, post-workout and pre-workout meal. That's a cookie right there. You use the cookie as your pre-workout meal. Yeah, man. Yeah. No, he's not well, He's not kidding, though. This is a, like yeah. you, think that the, you think, oh, he's the owner of a cookie company. He's making this up. This is serious. I mean, I used to, I became famous off selling pre-workout and post-workout products. Crack. Yeah. I mean, w- what are in the cookies? So one of the, the reasons why the company was even started was we wanted to use better ingredients in the cookie. And we like big, thick, gooey types, yep. personally, myself. Yep. So we focus on using specific ingredients such as organic flour, organic sugar, and, you know, organic cornstarch that a lot of other companies don't, won't put that money towards the organic ingredients. So, you know, that's the, that's the genesis of why the, the company even started. That's one of the better ingredient cookie that's like big, thick, and gooey. 
Yeah. And have more variety too. If you're going to indulge in something, make sure you indulge in something you know what the ingredients are. You know what I mean? You exactly. don't want, like, the, the problem with America and the problem with all the other countries and what we differ from them, they don't sell specific things that we do in America because of how horrible it is for you. With our cookies, you know what's in the cookies. We're telling you what's in it, and it's not some made up gibberish word that you find in all these other boxed products. You know what I mean? These aren't, this isn't your boxed product cookie. This is a legit cookie with can, real ingredients. We can pronounce all the ingredients. You can pronounce everything in there, and you can find mm -hmm. it online, everything's in there, and you, can, and you know what's in it. That's, that's the, I mean, for me, that was like the big selling point when I met George. Like when we met each other, like he had this product. I had a social media presence. It was just we we came together co cohesively, but like it was it was one of those things where like it's a cookie that tastes damn good, and it's also not going to hurt you in the long run with all these dyes and all these made up like ingredients. You know what I mean? And that's with me having a kid and uh, being health conscious now. That was like a big thing. It was a, it's a huge deal, and it's a huge deal to a lot of Americans too that are trying to get on that same page. You know? Yeah. And we, we pay premium for the, the ingredients. Uh, we don't skimp out on it. The cookie they just had, that is organic uh, cocoa powder from Peru. Wow. Yeah. From Peru! Yeah, Peru. It's a Peruvian I uh, been Dutch to Peru cocoa before. powder. They make really good roast, uh, rotisserie chicken. We're not talking about Do chicken, they? man. We're talking yeah. about chocolate <laughs> from Peru. <laughs> okay, okay. What should be the next cookie I taste? In our macadamia nuts macadamia come from? Nuts. Where are macadamia nuts macadamia come from? Nuts. The macadamia nuts are Is actually certified here? organic. From where, though? Yeah, organic macadamia nuts we use. Yeah. How many nuts go in a cookie? Two. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, not too, but a lot. A lot. Okay. You gotta break it open, and you're gonna see like how studded it is. You know. Oh, and it's got, it's gooey, oh, wow. and it's still gooey, and that's still yeah. gooey, yeah, man. So that is my favorite cookie, by the way. So we got white chocolate and macadamia, right? Yeah. Correct. I feel like I've tried these cookies so many times in my life. I don't know what this one's gonna taste like. Uh huh. Uh, oh, that's a good one. Yeah, no, yeah, that's, that's a, a good, good macadamia yeah, nut good. cookie. It's organic yeah. macadamia nuts. They're not GMO. They're, they're no GMOs and no mutations to them. We didn't put any different DNA in it. That's a real macadamia oh. DNA in there. I'm screwed. How am I going to eat another cookie after having this? No choice. You got no choice. What do you what think I'm this is? You're, you're 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 hostage now to the cookie yeah, factory. Man. You got to eat to leave. I'm gonna start tweaking. You are. You will tweak. You <laughs> will need, shake a little a bit. I need a hit, yeah. guys. You, you used to sell pre-workout? Well, oh, wait till you get man. that sugar high, dude. <laughs> At least you know it's organic sugar. <laughs> so, okay, how long has the, co the company been around? Um, we officially started the company. We incorporated in 2015, but really pushed the company out in 2016. So at the farmer's market, that's where we started selling the cookies. We sold out, like I said, in the first, like, uh, two hours, hour to two hours. I, I don't, it's like so many years ago. But... And then from there, we just kept on selling out at multiple events and markets. And then we opened up our first mini production facility in Jersey City, in the heights of Jersey City. And then from there, we migrated over to having our first downtown Jersey City store. That's our actual location for retail. Dude, I've walked by that store so many times. It yeah. says I got banged in Jersey City oh, yeah. in the neon lights where I oh, saw yeah. the store. I actually, it was like my second date with my wife. We went and got a cookie. Nice. Yeah. Did she and look at the sign and she's like, I haven't been banged here yet. <laughs> there's a no, listen, there's, there's a reason why Ankur took her to L that listen, specific location, man. man. <laughs> Subliminal message. <laughs> my, read my, the, my, read my, the my, sign. My girl likes desserts, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I was like, this is this is a perfect win-win opportunity. You finagled your way into that yeah. sign. <laughs> so, where did the marketing concept of like, you know, I got banged in a certain city? I mean, are you going to do that across the country? What's the plan? Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's a, so like, Bang Me Bakery got the attention. People would actually look at the sign that we had for our company name in the very beginning of the farmer's market. And they're like, is that your company name? Like, yeah, it is. Is that what it means? I'm like, yeah, it's exactly what it means. Here, come try the cookie now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then that's how they tried it. And then they had a sample and then they started buying. So then we had to get a little bit more PG yeah, versus, absolutely. Uh, there, were, there were names in the beginning for the cookies that mm. were very explicit. This decision to go PG was before or after Corey? That was before me, before <laughs> me, before me. They did that before me. Because there's no <laughs> way an HR department is managing this situation. Uh, at this no, 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 no. When no, we, no. you know, we, we had a parent to like, we love your cookies, but the names, oof, that's something. That what, was, what was one of the names? So uh, to, the first cookie that Encore, um actually tasted, um, that was called the BBC. Oh, oh. God. <laughs> Big black cookie. That's going to be a meme. I'm going to be Jordanified <laughs> for sure with my reaction just yeah, now. Yeah, the first big BC you had in your mouth, dude. Um, <laughs> yeah, first, and yeah. I mean, 
Not last. Uh, I think I need to wash it down with another cookie. Yeah, Which, yeah, what yeah. cookie should I try next? The, uh, you, the, the, the right there, the bottom right. That's the triple chocolate, right? Yeah, triple chocolate. chocolate. That's yeah. my. That's mine right, right. there. Dude. That right there. Yeah. That's. Oh my gosh. Quite, uh, help me break this one. All right. Well, this is. First of all, you had the BBC. Now you want me to, to break it with me? <laughs> look at that. Look at the th look at the thickness of this hockey puck, dude. This right here, you could play all three peri three periods in hockey, right? Yeah. You can play all three periods of hockey with just this one cookie, and then afterwards you can just eat this thing. I'm, I'm eating this one. I don't know why you looked at me. I don't know if I knew the rules of hockey. I'm from Jersey. Hey, man, do you does know he there's look, Does he look like he plays hockey? <laughs> I don't know, man. Wait, wait, I don't. <laughs> why is it triple chocolate? What are the three types of chocolate in here? So we have the cocoa powder. We also have the milk chocolate and also a semi-sweet chocolate in there. It's so good. It's so good. Yeah. <laughs> Your eyes just went cross-eyed. Yeah. This one, I don't care how many times I had this one. Every time, it's how you say banging, dude. Bang, it's, yeah, it's man. Just, this one's this is it's so fire. Yeah, that's the point. You gotta eat these cookies. And the thing about cookies is like you so you, you tend to eat it consistently. It's one of those things you don't ever get tired of. Uh -uh. Right. So, so for people at home. I've obviously get offers all the time to be a chief marketing officer or jump in a company. Well, two, two. What, what really impressed me about the organization here is you guys do this like fundraiser thing. Mm, yeah. It opened my eyes to how terrible other organizations are. At fundraising, you mean? Well, or, or, or just the amount of money they give back after they, you know, these boys and girls do all this work to sell. That was product. actually another oh, yeah, big like, thing. Another big thing that George touched on that made me want to be a part of Bank Cookies is the fact of the the fundraising, of giving back because when I was a kid, I played in travel baseball and we didn't really have um, a way to make money for the tournaments that we were going to. So we would go outside of grocery stores and we would panhandle basically for money. We would literally ask for money. We weren't giving them a service. We weren't providing anything to them. We weren't selling cookies. We were just sitting there with our hands out and be like, "Hey, can you give us money so we can go to nationals in Kansas, Missouri? You know what I mean? And they were like, yeah, sure. And they gave us money. But now when, when he had this idea of helping schools out, which we've already done, tons of schools, help them go for trips or buy computers or buy some stuff with great products, this is easy to sell. It's so easy to sell this giant cookie that tastes delicious. You know what I mean? And, and they don't have to go panhandle for it. I remember um, growing up, we would sell those chocolate bars. Yeah, 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 yeah there you go. And they'd be like two bucks a bar. Yeah. But then I found out we only got five cents uh -huh. back from the <laughs> yeah, company. Man. And I found this out just like when I got much older, when I was trying to do like my own organizations mm -hmm. and stuff. And I was like, oh, well, let's go find that like chocolate company. And like they have this whole brochure and it's all fancy. And then like in the small print, it's like, yeah, we'll give you five cents a bar. Yeah. Isn't I'm that like, wild? what? Yeah. Crazy. I got to sell like 10,000 bars Crazy. just to like uh -oh. pay for the one ticket to wherever we no. have to go. Yeah, yeah. So how does the fundraiser process work here? And I feel like podcasts are things that like, you know, parents are listening to and other people. I mean, I don't know about this podcast, but <laughs> there's just hope that there, there's some people out there that might want to understand if they want to do a fundraiser, what's step one? And then if you're doing a fundraiser, like how much money could you possibly make? Are there any success stories? Anything Yo, really cool? Dude, we yeah, about? We've, we've had, had some that have killed it, just annihilated. It. Yeah, dude. yeah. So the genesis of the uh, fundraiser stems from understanding education and giving back to uh, education, especially in communities that are underfunded specifically. And in the Asian culture, we tend to value education as the foremost um, area of focus for parents, for the kids. And my grandmother, who grew up in World War II, never had the ability to go to school. And oh, she wow. worked on a farm uh, in Taiwan. And she never had the opportunity because she grew up in a country back in the 19, like 30s and 40s where, you, you know, if you're a girl, like you just didn't go to school, like you just helped the family and worked. And she saved every single penny that she had by working in a farm, which was like very, it's like backbreaking work, you know, no complaining from her, but she just did it. And then when she had her kids, she would save every single penny and put that money towards the education of her kids, which was my mom and my uncles. So from there, um, every, and she, she helped raise me, but every time she would give me the opportunity to study, she would always like save up her own money to help me out. And so from that, uh, she was like really my, my hero in my life and really made a huge impact in understanding that although this woman who was completely illiterate, who did not understand how to read or write, understood the value of education and saved her money that she earned just to even help me out. And uh, that was me trying to give back to, to the community. And mm -hmm. you know, um, I was fortunate enough where I grew up in a community in New Jersey where it was, 
you know, I had one of the top tier high schools and helped me prepare for uh, my future career and whatever I wanted to do. But then when I looked around the country, like there was many, many communities that were completely underfunded. And a lot of these students don't even have the, the, the privilege that I've had. So I wanted to give back in that sense. And when I was in Ukraine working with our development team back then, um, the first school called, actually no, they didn't call, they actually emailed me when I was in Ukraine. And I replied to the email and got on a phone call with Jax, Linda Jackson over in Ohio. And I spoke to her, she needed help with fundraising for her school. So I said, don't worry about it. Um, the minute I come back, I'm gonna take a ride over to you guys. So I flew back. It was like August, like a few, like two years ago, and I drove right from New Jersey to Ohio on a seven-hour drive. And I visited the school, and I actually looked into what they needed, listened to what they were asking for and what they needed, and then we started a fundraiser program from there. And that was our pilot school. And then we helped them crush their goals. How much money did they raise? They did almost twenty thousand dollars. Two weeks, first week out, and that was Yo, the first. Yo, Corey, do you out. know how much twenty thousand dollars is yeah, for a local a school? Lot. Yeah, that a is lot. crazy. Yeah, yeah. Because they, they, yeah. I mean, think about all the PTA meetings they have for parents asking parents just to donate money. Now, the bake sales, yeah, bake, bake, bake sales, yeah, and yeah. the parents got to the the bust their backs. Yeah, and yeah. There's so many crappy fundraisers out yeah, there. I remember yeah. being in school and I'd be able to sell anything because the fundraisers. I, I was selling a uh, wrapping paper, coupon books, and stuff <laughs> yeah, like that. I did yeah. everything. Who and doesn't like a cookie though? That's the easiest thing to sell is cookies. Yeah. I mean, look at look at the, look at the, the Girl Scouts. They, they sell cookies. And those cookies are, I'm not going to say nothing incriminating that's going to get me in trouble, but... Uh, they're not this. They're not, they're not, not this, not. you know it's, what I mean? It's one of the things where we give the schools 40%. 40%? 40%, yeah, man. Like, we don't try to skimp out on it because these uh, the people that are like, make, the kids that are making the effort with their parents to sell this product, they should get, you know, 40% of it. And, you know, the other 60%, we cover our cost of manufacturing, and our goal is to give back as much as we can. You know. So if there's someone listening that wants to start a fundraiser, where do they go? They go to uh, fundraise.bankcookies.com, and then they can, from there, they can uh, sign up for it. And from that moment on, you can sign up for a fundraiser once you get logged in within minutes. Like, our goal is to set you up so you can um, succeed and run a fundraiser within minutes. We do also have an onboarding specialist that actually walks through, like, uh, and guide you through the process of what it takes to have a successful fundraiser, mm -hmm. right? It's not just, hey, let me just sign up and then money's gonna f grow out of trees and then I'm like gonna no, get twenty thousand yeah. dollars in sales. Like, but, but it takes effort, man. It's it's easy to like when we were in school when I when I did fundraisers, it was paper. You write every paper. You did yeah. paper. This is yeah. all on an app. This is all mm. on your phone. Yeah. It's seamless. It's you just have people. You post your link or you send your link to someone to buy cookies. They buy cookies from your link and that that's on that's on you. It's and you're like leader. You're, there's a leader leaderboard too. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see who's selling the most cookies, and it's kind of yeah. cool. And you, they, they, some schools incentivize the leaderboards and whatnot. But it's not only schools. We've done we've done athletic leagues. Yep. We've done uh, churches, Just and nonprofits, yeah, nonprofits, yeah. all yeah. kinds of stuff. Dude. So the, the the reason why it works so well, it's all digital. Mm -hmm. So if a school organizer, let's say a teacher, wants to run a fundraiser with her class, she could sign up for an account, and then from there, her students will be sent uh, directions, sent up for their own account. So every single student will have their own individual landing page or website page. And then they'll have a picture of themselves there along with the cookies right at the bottom, all online. And then they copy and paste it and text message everybody on their phone easy. with their link. Yeah, Super easy. So, so in, social media. <coughs> so wait, social how many of these have we ran to date? Over Oof. 200. Over and 200. Yes. All right, so you guys heard it here first. As the chief marketing officer, my goal is to get to 1,000. Awesome. As quickly as we can. Yeah. So for people listening at home, if you guys have any questions, hit us up in the comments. I'll be happy to put that link in all the descriptions and everything yep. that we do. I think this is just too good of a program. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really it's so good of a program. People sometimes say, what's the catch? And there ends up being no catch. And when they do that, they're like, oh, my God, there wasn't a catch. There was no catch. We yeah. just need to post the photo of... of uh, George's grandmother. Yeah, yeah. Like, we're doing <laughs> yeah. this for grandma. Bust, busting her ass in the field, <laughs> right, dude. Yeah, yeah. She didn't know how to read, but we she should, knew how to say yeah. money. We should make her right? into an icon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, should, we should just get that done. For she, sure. could, she couldn't write me letters, but she knew how to save money for me to go oh, to yeah, school. Yeah. I, I know a Photoshop guy. We can make that happen. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Last year was the full, first full year out. We did over a million wow. um, raised. And then out of that, we gave away $400,000. Over yeah. $400,000 now. That's incredible. Yeah, and then, you know, it really makes an impact on the students, and that's what matters the most, right? For sure. All right, so 
And we still have so many cookies to go through. What do what I try do, next? We have, we have the sea salt chocolate chip, which is the OG, which OG. is so good. Yeah. We okay. have the, pe- the peanut butter chocolate chip over there, so this, too. Is that this is the sea salt chocolate chip? All right, that's let's sea salt. see what yeah. this one's like. So how did you two meet? Because that seems like an met, uncanny story. We met through a mutual friend yeah. that, uh, that just like... That, he, oh, that wow. so George. What's was in the inside of this? Let me see. Looks like a little. That's caramel. a sea salt caramel. Sea salt, yeah. Oh, sea, that's salt that's caramel. sea salt caramel. Is that sea that salt that caramel. Right. Yeah. Oh. Like like a dolce de leche type thing. It's caramel. Just eat it. It's good. Dolce de leche is just a fancy word for saying caramel. That's just like you yeah. know what I mean. That's it's, just like it's, it's milk caramel. Oh man, that's so weird. Wee wee wee. Yeah, that's absolutely. Milk. It's good. This is good. George has already had eight cookies today, so I don't think he can eat another one. George, what's the most number of cookies you've had in one sitting? Oh wow. Uh I could say probably like six that's, in one sitting. That, that's like 5,000 that, calories. That dude. is that's a lot of calories. That's so calorie. crazy. Yeah. That was uh, back in the first two years where I didn't eat at all for like 24 hours, and I just devoured six yeah. white chocolate macadamias, which is my favorite one. So I like the nuts, I like the white chocolate, hey. and I had literally six of them in one sitting. All right. So how I don't we, do that very often. No, though, but yeah. <laughs> how we met is I was actually what's what's crazy is there was a um, I was kind of being poached by a competitor cookie company. I don't I'm not gonna name names or whatnot, but there was a competitor. No, spill the tea. There was a, we were I was talking back and forth about doing something with um, with chips. Can, can we really not say the name? No, I, I mean I can't. I was I was it wasn't like a big thing, but we were talking back and forth. About I'm gonna like, run ads on this. You got to say the name. So okay, so Chip City was going back and forth with me about doing oh, the, something. Doing those something. guys that sold for like a billion dollars. Yeah. Do they sell already? I don't know. Are they no, raised, they raised, a uh, they raised like a hundred million or something like that. Right? They, they, raised, they yeah. raised a lot of money. Yeah. They raised they, a lot they're, of money. Yeah. But anyways, they, we were going back and forth about doing something, whether it was uh, a collaboration dear, or. Dear being investors part. listening, if you want to invest, let us know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. It's going back and forth. We're doing. It was. It was. We were gonna do something, but at the same exact time as that happened. I had a buddy reach out to me. I was like, hey, I want you to I want you to meet my friend George. He owns this cookie company called Bang Cookies. And I was like, oh, really? That's weird that you say that because I'm actually this talking like to James. this. This sounds like James. Was it cookie. James? No, it wasn't James. It was James okay. actually knew the guy. James Died. James introduced me to the guy that introduced me to George. <laughs> yeah. So it was a, so that was Mike. Train. A lot of int- lot of, it was Mike. Oh, yeah. It was our friend Mike. A lot of yeah. introductions going on. Yeah. But um, so James introduced me to him and uh, I was looking for, you know, something to put my social media money into or just my just not only that my expertise in social media and use that to my advantage. I've got a kid. I'm trying to start a future. You know what I mean? And I'm trying to put things down that are that are roots. And so I met George. George brought me to his cookie uh, store, Bang Cookies. And uh, that was Jersey City. Correct. Yeah. And we sat there and he's like, you need to try this cookie. And he had me try three different cookies. It was the Snicker Churro, which is right there. This which one. if yeah. you think you've had a snickerdoodle ca- uh, cookie before, yeah. this one will change your life, dude. It's chur- it, it tastes Why like Why is it so big? Cuz it's got chur- it's got churro in the middle. Well, look at the oh middle. My God. Look at the middle of that thing. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it. Oh. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. So he had me try this. He goes, "You like snickerdoodle?" I was like, "Not really, no." He's like, "Well, try this." And I was like, "Oh, changed my mind." Yeah. He had me try that, the s'mores in the oh sea salt God. chocolate chip. In what it. do you call this? Snicker churro. This is delicious. Delicious. Yeah. Again, I didn't. I didn't care for Snickerdoodle cookies. I I had no idea. I've never I, cared. I for tried them. this and I was like, "That's wild." I would eat this for sure. Exactly. Yeah. So between the between the conversation of the cookies and then the fundraising, and then just me doing what I do in social media, we're like, "Yo, let's try this out." And then yeah. I think the first the first video I ever did of me trying a box of cookies, saying that I wanted to, uh, uh, I, I tried a box of cookies first of all, and then I put it out, and I think I don't know how we sold a bunch of cookies from that one video. Yeah, like did when a, you did it, it, it was nuts. We did a bunch. And then, yeah, so George was like, oh, wow, I see value in this. Wait, and wait, I was like, have you ever worked with an influencer before, Corey? Man, we did bunch. try influencers, yeah. man, but they were Come on, man. straight up. Hey. I'm going to say it right now. Trash. Trash. Garbage. I'm not, I mean, come on, man, I'm not the same. I'm not, I'm not like anyone else, dude. I'm different. Man, I'm, I we mean, worked with, we worked with like 50, and all of them were trash. <laughs> I, I probably except did, and then don't, Corey came hey, in don't don't, don't tuck, don't tuck my chain. But I, did I sell more cookies with that one post than the rest of the fifty did? Other? Oh hell yeah! Yeah. Oh by, by far, man. Like it was night and day. So I I said we after sold I over, did that I want to be a part way. of the company. Yeah, we sold over a thousand boxes in twenty four hours. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, man. Yeah, I mean that's that's awesome. The power of influencers is unreal. It, it works. If and what we figured, I gave up on influencers, man. I gave up on content creators that we worked you were with. hesitant to meet me. You yeah, were, you were I was. Yeah, I was like, man, I, we tried with fifty and it didn't pan out. Man, if I meet this Corey guy and it's 
like I was so resistant. I was, and, and Mike will tell you, like, yeah, you know, Mike was Mike. telling me. Mike was like, I don't know, he needs some convincing. He needs some yeah. convincing. So I was like, all right, let me convince him right now. <laughs> Let's make this video where I do, where I where I, where I try these cookies because I I didn't try some of the cookies on there that I, I I hadn't had some of those cookies I tried on that video. So I tried them and I was like, yo, this is fire. I want to be a part of this company. Someone reach out to them. And then he saw that he saw the cookie sales going up and he was like, all right, we need to talk further more. And then we hashed out a deal. And then I came and made a video kind of behind the scenes of me actually being co-owner of bang cookies and that went viral and it's just you know what i mean it now people know me as the cookie guy if i go on to when i go on tour when i do comedy shows they're like did you bring us cookies where's our cookies <laughs> yeah, you didn't bring me cookies when i came to your stand-up so um what i was trying to say earlier is um <laughs> i love the cookies that's why i really wanted to be a part of it how long ago was this almost a year and a half two years ago probably two pro i would say a year and a half two years year and a half Year and a half, year and a yeah. half, yeah, about a year and a half ago, yeah, yeah. And then I've done, we've done some videos on fundraising. When we got, when I did yeah, that video on Corey, fundraising, uh, we got wait, wait, why hasn't there been another influencer? We're working on it. I guess that's my job now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What are you talking I'm about? What do, you, what do you think so you're? What do you think you're sitting there for, buddy? So you, think we got, you think we got? You think we got? Get all working, the man. You're interested in working with us? Stop it, slacking. Slide up in the DMs. Let's figure it out if it's a good fit. Yeah. Corey is the uh, living proof that it can oh, work. Oh yeah, absolutely. And we were gonna. We want to add incentive too at some point. Yeah, to, definitely. To, to help yeah, out. yeah, definitely. And guess what? It's not a hard product to sell. This isn't like this isn't a, a toothpaste or something that people are like. Ah, I don't know if I want that. This is yeah. a damn cookie. It's a cookie. This ain't coconut toothpaste or thing. You know what I mean? Coconut toothpaste. Yeah, they, you, you see that video have online. Have you ever repped any other brands? No, uh, it depends on who's paying me. Okay. But no cookie brands. No cookie brands. No cookie brands. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chip City. We got them before you did. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Man, I'm sorry. But these cookies, these cookies are fire, dude. So, what's the process of making a new flavor? Like, I mean, were these all around this whole time? So how many of these are new? Like, what is this thing? This thing looks like oh, a little that's s'more. Oh, that's that's s'more, man. Those yeah, are yeah, graham cookies? Is, those outside? Yeah, yeah graham crackers on the outside. That's is this like a marshmallow that's popping out? Yeah. Oh, yes, really? it yeah. is, man. That's actually one of our uh, customer favorites. That's a fire one right yeah, there. That's, really I remember good. when I first really, I remember, really I remember when I first came on and they were having a debate on which one was going to be the cookies that were going to be the sticking out. And I was like, this is got, we got to keep this one out. Yeah. This is fire. Especially, and you're not even. Oh a my warm, god! It's not even a warm cookie. You're not even a warm right now. Imagine warming it up in the oven or in yeah. the microwave for a little bit. How do you make this? With the love. Cookies all With around. love. Yeah, you gotta do it, you know, piece by piece, man. We you do just one grab cookie at a time. Yeah, man. Have you been in the factory done. yet? You gotta put a hairnet on and put some little slippies booties on. Yeah, but when you walk back lot. there, you should see. We got some machines and stuff that can do what you can't do. It's a lot of work, man. That cookie is the biggest pain in the butt for us because we had to take the graham crackers and put it one at a time on each puck. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of graham cookies. Yeah. 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 Hey, so, but it's worth it. It's worth it. When, when you see someone taste that cookie and you see yeah. their expression, ooh. So, George, are you back there every day? Me? Rolling with the, dough? And yeah, with the cookie elves? Of course. With the cookie, yeah. elves. cookie elves, elves, man. I don't know if they're going to appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> Oh, you um, mean the L's we got in the back? <laughs> <laughs> Those guys are all taller than me. If I'm, in, I'm the elf, dude. If there's, anyone. No, there's no Keebler L's in the back, guys. Okay, so they're, they're all, they're 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 all full-grown people. <laughs> well, okay. Wasn't there some big recall on cookie dough recently? Uh, I know you, you guys, guys heard about this. About that. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I just remember we yeah, went to like was. Costco and we bought a bunch of cookie dough because you know I married a baker. And then we got like an email saying everything has to come back. There was a big recall. Oh, like, damn. Does that affect yeah. cookie companies like yours? No, I mean, it doesn't in, per se. Um, it's, you know, we do have like extreme quality control on our floor. So it's something where uh, we're not at the level of a industrial mass producer, right? And that's typically when you're making batches that are like two, three, four, five thousand 5,000 pounds at once, you know, every like half an hour. And I'm not sure if that's the exact time, but you know, for us, like we tend to have, make everything in smaller batches, so we have much uh, tighter controls. So every single day, baked fresh. Oh yeah, definitely. Nothing is going in the fridge or like. No, no, we bake every day, and if you go to our store, it's baked every single day. Yeah, that's impressive. Hell yeah, you could taste it in the cookie. Why isn't there one by the town that you live in? So, uh, so the town I live in is called Manhattan, New York City. And I don't know if you've seen the rent prices there, but rent prices are through the roof. <laughs> Um, so that's kind of a smart business decision. I think we are currently in making. Mm. We're waiting for them for them, them rates to go down a little bit before, okay. <laughs> before we move into that area. So th this is why we're we're strong in Jersey. Yeah, yeah, we're strong yeah, in Jersey. Yeah. Rates I mean, are here better, better. And here. any locations coming up? Hell yeah, yeah we man, we're franchising actually. Yeah. So we, we, we launched our franchising this year, 
and we're about to close out. Uh, someone's about to sign a deal for it to open up in Vegas. In Vegas. In Vegas, yeah. And I then think this will do amazing. We have Vegas. another location coming up, a corporate location in uh, City Point, Brooklyn. Okay. In downtown Brooklyn. Oh, that we got out. one. We got one. Mike, uh, Mike, the guy that introduced yep. us, also has some franchises He's open up, up in uh, Ocean Township. Ocean Town. Yep. Yep. Right down to Jersey Shore. Yeah, I think there's gonna be a Jersey Shore bang yeah. cookies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my yeah. god, I can't remember. Got the banged in Jersey Shore, <laughs> dude. Come on, <laughs> the shirt alone is gonna be a killer. Are we gonna get any of the cast members to stop by? Actually, he's friends yeah. with some of the cast members. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. He's gonna uh, oh. bring the OG uh, the situation. Yeah, I think. Situation. Yeah, yeah. I, think. Yeah. I gotta yeah. we'll yeah. confirm it, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. We don't want to bring his tax police, but we want to bring him there <laughs> to try a taste buds out. Yeah. yeah. Hey man, whatever whatever helps a man get over you know his uh, vices. Right? Yeah, hell yeah, yeah dude. But uh, all that we, we got King of Prussia. We're in we're in uh, King of Prussia. We're in, we're in King of Prussia with the franchise store. Yeah. And there's one in the the gigantic mall. Yeah, right? yeah, American yeah, sure. Dream yeah. Mall. American That's Dream Mall. Yep. Yep. Yeah, we're also in Menlo Park Mall. And we have a little cubicle of a space in uh, Terminal A. Terminal A. That's a good spot. Newark International Airport. All right, can we, can we talk about how hard it is to eat multiple cookies? Like, we need to have some type of milkshake or coffee or something. Like, there's got to be something with this. Yeah, yeah. We've been testing uh, cookie milkshakes that we're going to roll out eventually. A cookie to all milkshake? The, yeah. So what we do is take, like, half the cookie, blend it in with some ice cream. And then some milk. Mm. So like a yeah. McFlurry, but the machine works. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so wait, like, wait. Where do you get your machines from? Don't all those like ice cream machines come from the same place? We can't tell you where we get yeah. our machines from, man. You it's, just started. It's the Cookie Elves. The cookie Elves. Yeah, okay. man. Yeah, they're churning. Are they Are they from Ukraine? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Kiev. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they're, they're not Kiebler Elves. They're Kiebler Elves. Kiebler Elves. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Okay, okay. So um, are any of these recipes trademarked? Like, can you make these at home? I know uh, there's that company called Levain Bakery, where my wife has made me order of the, like, the frozen stuff. Yeah. Are there plans to put this in grocery stores and freezer aisles? You've had like opportunities, that? I we, believe. Uh, we got approached by a big box, re- like a really big uh, retailer. And at this point, we're open to it. We're definitely open to it. But... Um, I think we need to grow bigger on our retail footprint first yeah. before we venture into retail. But it's not to say that we won't entertain the idea. Uh, we definitely are open to entertaining ideas if we need to push it into like like a big box retail at Costco if necessary. You know, but okay. that that's something where our primary focus is making sure that we provide the best customer experience through our brick and mortar retail yeah. stores. Direct first. customer, yeah, yeah, and. You know, we ship across the country. You can order on uh, on our website, you know, bankcookies.com. Or you can come to one of our stores. And as we open up more franchises, we're also going to incorporate a whole drink line. And part of the drink line will be the milkshake, the cookie milkshakes, you know, organic coffee that we're going to be introducing to. Can you imagine that s'more ground up into a cookie milkshake? Yeah. Or the dang, the triple chocolate. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, that's going to be a cookie coma. For oh, sure. my oh gosh. Yeah, well, you got to sure. be smart about it. You got to spare it. Now, this is people People have their desserts. They like to cheat and do, do uh, you know, off of a diet. This is, this would be your cheat. You know yeah, what I mean? Dwayne, if you're listening, your next cheat meal post, it needs to be banned cookies. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Hit us up. We can set it up. Mm. Uh, man, I feel like I, I kind of feel like The Rock right now with all yeah. these cookies in front of me. Yeah. So what's are there, what's left? Is, it, is that the was that the regular sea salt in the back you got over sea there? Sea salt back, right? in the back, and then you also have the peanut butter chocolate. chip. That's my that another one. The peanut butter chocolate chip too. That's my I, it's so good, like a like a Reese's. Oh, this is the chocolate chip. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the basic. The that's the regular chocolate regular chocolate chip. Yeah. Chocolate chip. That's, that's what OG. started it all off, right? That's what yeah. that's the one that. Ends, I mean, ends, uh, when 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 it was just a farmers market, Insider Food did a whole cover a whole story about bank cookies. Yeah. It was a whole story, really? and the line they showed the line around the block for the farmers market. Just for the chocolate chip cookies, man. It's fire. This is a good chocolate chip. Yeah, yeah man. Now now spice it up with the peanut butter chocolate chip. That's that one right there is it. Which one's the, the peanut two butter? right there, little two right here, little two mouths yeah. you got in front yeah. of you. Yeah. I'm gonna start double fisting cookies. Yeah, hell yeah. That's what you gotta do. To it. Look at that. Chunk oh the peanut butter oh inside. God. Yeah, yeah man. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh. There you go. Oh yeah. Oh, you could taste the peanut oh, butter. Oh yeah. Well mm-hmm. I would sure hope so. Keep those away from kids that are allergic, but you know what I mean? But yeah, how do, you, how do you handle allergens and all that kind of stuff? Uh, we do have signs saying that we uh, make everything in a facility that processes nuts, tree nuts, et cetera, all the allergens in there. Mm-hmm. So, And we are very careful when customers ask us if we um, actually have nuts in the cookies. And we do tell them every single time, if you are like deathly allergic, do not buy the cookies. Yeah. We do make every effort to clean out everything in our facility, but we are not a nut-free allergy uh, facility. Could you tell that this is George's first podcast? 
No, George did a great job. I think he did. I think he did fabulous. I think he started off um, crappy, but I think he actually picked up the energy and he <laughs> came along. My name is George. Hi, that's that's all he gave me. Hey, here's our great owner. That's George. my introduction. Hi, and that's I'm how George. it's going to be. Cool. Silence. <laughs> We didn't charge him last night enough. We have to recharge his solar uh, power. We got to bring the robot out. <laughs> He's AI, though, so he learns quick. Oh, yeah. Would you want to do more of these, George? Of course. It's fun. Who do, who do we invite next? Hmm. Maybe the mayor of Jersey City. He loves our cookies. Man. With free cookies? Hell, yeah. Yeah. For free cookies? Hell, yeah. yeah. I feel like we got to get uh, that school you talked about from Ohio. Yeah, we could. They need Linda Jack. That lady right? loves. Yeah. Late, she loves bank cookies, she loves dude. Bank she's cookies. she's yeah. a she's a diehard. Have they come back year after year to of course. do fundraiser yeah, over and yeah, over? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's incredible. That's the thing, though. It's not. There's really nothing behind. All you do is sign up. We get you started. You yeah. sell cookies, and then you collect money. It's not like it's a hard, tough process. No, it's we're not, not sending you things. We're, you're not doing shipping. You're not boxing anything. You're not baking anything. You're just selling. It's not like the Red Cross where you know you donate a hundred bucks and maybe a dollar goes to the actual. No, yeah, absolutely, hundred yeah. percent. You're at forty percent, dude. It's a million dollars, four hundred thousand bucks went to schools. They yeah. didn't have to do anything. They had to. They didn't have to buy the products. They didn't have to cook the products or ship the products. We do everything. All you do is word of mouth, sell, sell. They did hundred million sales, four hundred thousand that was given back to them. Yeah, four hundred thousand. That's what I said. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Sure. yeah, yeah. But ultimately, don't roll the cameras. Back. Look, the, whole, <laughs> the whole point is uh, they do come back. And the beautiful part about this is once you have the community that tastes the product and they really like the product, the, sec the second time you do a fundraiser, it becomes even easier. Yep, mm, for because sure. Now you have you know, built-in supporters that like the product uh, or love the product, and they'll order my, like you know maybe two or three boxes now or four boxes instead of just one first time out. And you order your box of cookie, you get it, what, two days? Two, two days, days, yeah. We yeah. ship it all out. We ship it out. You, you know, uh, The organizers and the people that are doing, that are selling the, the product with their own online pages, they don't have to do anything else outside of sell it, and then it, it gets shipped from our factory. It's baked fresh and shipped the same day to all the people that buy from their webpage. Yeah. And I then, you're, like and then you're, now, you're, now your team gets to go to damn Kansas, Missouri, and with new baseball bats and helmets. We actually did one. We went to the, we went to their, um, what, were the, what was the team called? Man, I forget the name. Clifton the Colts. And that's a good owner. He remembers the yeah, name of the team. Right? Yeah, you know, Corey, we Great were born, coach, man. We were born the wrong year. Our childhoods were robbed. We should have had band yeah. cookies back when we were kids. I had to play baseball with my bare feet, dude. I had to sell chocolate <laughs> chocolate bars <laughs> to every door. door. You're like, would you please buy a man, chocolate I was, bar? Man, yeah. I was selling paper wrappers, yeah. man. <laughs> like, how boring is that? That's wild. It but, was so hard to sell paper wrappers, We got wrappers, to go man. there, and I, did, I did a home run derby with the kids, which was, a, which was awesome. awesome yeah. It was fun. You know, I get to hit the ball like I was a child. Yeah, you almost broke someone's window. <laughs> Debatable. We're not going to go there. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to incriminate myself. But. <laughs> so how should we end these podcasts? From Bang Cookies. I think you or whoever does this thing has to rate the cookie from their favorite to not oh, least man. favorite. I don't want to say least favorite, but mm. but not their favorite. Is there anything on here I didn't try? It looks like I tried them all. It looks like you tried everything, yeah. which means uh, hopefully that right. you bought your... Well, your we got more instant. flavors than that, but... Yeah. So, I think I'm classic. I think the, the, the chocolate chip sea salt by mm -hmm. far was my favorite. Fire. Because the peanut butter isn't necessarily my go-to, I'm going to put that on the bottom of the list. Okay. But it, it was phenomenal. Yeah. It was phenomenal. Yeah. Um, I think the BBC, even though I don't, not sure I like the old name, the the Oreo cookie. That that was Fire. cool. That yeah. was cool. I could do that at night with a glass of milk, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. For sure. That's number two. Uh, triple chocolate. That's oh, the Snickerchurro yeah. was good too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's, that's tough, hard. Man. It's tough. It's tough. Man, this yeah, is yeah. Tough. It's tough, man. Oh, and the s'mores. The s'mores. Was, I, I, <laughs> that's why I said. Why would you do this to that's me? That's why I said you can't say delete, like you're, they're all why favorites. Would you, why would you yeah. do this to me? Yeah, because tough, you're the man. new. We got a new guy. All right, number number one, chocolate chip, everything else number two. What? All right, fair enough. Fair. All right, fair. fair. Yeah, man. Well, I mean, good uh, choices, man. I'm excited to be part of the team. Oh yeah. All right, and Corey, we got to make some some meme content. Make for some content, TikTok. absolutely. I'm the meme guy. I'm a yeah. meme, meme. George, meme can we dude. get you in some TikTok reels? Sure, man. This is about to be He's fun. He's got to show off his body, bro. Look at we, that we, just, we just can't let the shirt get dirty because that's the only shirt he has. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know, today is laundry day for me, so this is why it's a long sleeve yeah. t-shirt. So. Well, good okay. thing his little brother yeah. has more t-shirts, all right? <laughs> 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 well, guys, thanks for tuning in. And um, hopefully in the next episode, we have some special fundraiser guests of honor. Oh, yeah. yeah we can yeah. talk to you. And, Absolutely. I mean, I can't wait to try the rest of the cookies. Get on it. All right, man. Let's do it. <laughs> thanks. Thank you.